we are compelled to help one another uh, out of love. Iowa Nice extends far past the borders of the Hawkeye State for the Iowa Conference United Methodist Church. Volunteers are organizing to head down to Kentucky to aid in relief efforts as they experience deadly flooding. Most recent reports say 37 lives were claimed by the floods. Dozens are missing and hundreds are currently displaced. It is in fact dangerous for us to be there right now. We wait until uh, the first line responders uh, tell us that it's safe to come and then we can come and help. Pastor Newman says this wouldn't be the first time Iowa congregation members offered aid to Eastern Kentucky. That area, she says, has experienced hardships beyond natural disasters. It's a community that has uh, fallen on harder times than most. Uh, jobs are few and far between. Uh, the economic reality there is very harsh. And so um, people have lost literally everything and they didn't have much to begin with. The church has already sent out some volunteers and items to help residents get by. They plan to send out others that will repair and clean out damaged homes. But until they head out, anything Iowans can do to donate will help. And in the early days of a disaster, we really encourage people to um, help by donating funds and to praying for one another. That's right. So members of the church are no stranger to being a part of relief efforts. They've done a lot of projects ranging from disasters here in Iowa to out in New Orleans. Stacey. Lauren, thank you. And you don't have to drive hundreds of miles to help. You can donate to the team Eastern Kentucky Flood Relief Fund. Kentucky's governor says the fundraiser was created Thursday. You can also donate to EKY Mutual Aid. It's a group of Eastern Kentucky residents collecting money to help their neighbors. We have a list of verified resources on our website.